What is up everybody, this is Cyberpunk here, and welcome to a new <coughs> tutorial. And yes, I don't have my face in this picture. Picture, I'm sorry. I'm working on my setup currently, and I can't use my webcam. But, today I have a rather fun tutorial for you. And that is how to install, well, Apache Guacamole, using the official Guacamole install images. This specifically the two containers is provided by Guacamole and the MySQL and the official MySQL container. Now you may see the these two up tabs open here: the Guac install and the Ozu Ozuin U. Uh, sorry, I may have butchered that. Guacamole Moly install. One is a container and the other one is an install script for the container. Now. I love the people who made these container, this, conta this container here, specifically. But as you can see, this project is, is now archived and no longer supported. And this one, while still kept up to date, thank it, and is still busy, in, and is still being worked with, I would like to do stuff manually. Really, in this instance. And so I written an, a simple tutorial of how to get it installed using docker docker compose and a basic install of Debian and what is amazing about this is it's actually very easy once you've got all the variables set up now, this is just a simple document of how to get it how to get it all up and going thing which was actually quite frustrating for me because I couldn't figure out for a while Turns out it was getting the MySQL database to communicate with the guacamole container and setting up the database itself. Alright, now let's get into the tutorial. Well, this is a basic install of Debian running in Docker from Docker as provided by the installation instructions from docs.docker.com. And I can show you system CTL status. Docker. You can see Docker is running. It's currently running on the system. Control C. Control C again. Okay. And we have Docker Compose install, and that can be done with apt install docker dash docker dash compose. And you can see it's already in Doc Compose and installed. Clear. Clear. Now, what I'm going to show you for you is how to set it up. First, we need to create a new directory. Make dir. We're going to call it config. Oh, config already exists. That's fantastic. Bloody good. All right. Now we're going to create a doc compose file. Compose file. So we're going to go nano, and I'm logged in as root, by the way. Docker dash compose dot yaml. Be sure to specify the yaml at the end, or else the script, or else this won't run. All right. Now we're going to simply and copy and paste. Oh no, I misspelled it. Oh dear. We, but that's easy. We can just simply run mv doc docker dash compose dot yeah. What? Yam. YAML. Or am I saying it wrong, actually? Now we'll see. I'm not very good at spelling, I'm dyslexic. All the words sound the same in my head. Oh, I don't even need to use it, I'm in, I'm in his root. Hey. I'm sorry if that assaulted your ears, but there was constant pinging. Alright, 
Now we're going to copy the first part in. We're going to set the version and the service. This first part of the container is the actual web interface. You can see it's here we're using, we're calling it guacamole. We're using the, the image guacamole guacamole and the container name is some guacamole. Only the container name is important here for all of these containers as it helps us to remember and how to link in each container together. Here we have the MySQL database that we want to that we're going to use. We have the user, the MySQL user, we have the MySQL password, and we have the guacamole hostname. Now remember, this is still just a rough container. And I'm still going to finalize this this how to who tutorial. Well, I just wanted to get this out there okay, so all of you can play around. Now this is important here. Guacamole host name. Hey, some guac. This will be important later. So is the port. Same guacamole host name. MySQL, some MySQL, and the port name and the time zone. The ports here are what we're going to expose guacamo this guacamole instance on. It's going to be 8080. And restart unless stopped is pretty self-explanatory. It restarts the container unless it's stopped. All right. Now the next part. Guacamole. This actually hosts the SSH, RDP, Telnet, VNC connections. Be sure to put a space here. YAML can be a bit case sensitive. We're going to be using the guacamole guacade image and some, and we're going to call it some guac and restart unless stopped. Now, here we get into the database itself. The database we're going to be using is MySQL. I s tried to use PostgreSQL, but I couldn't get it working, so I decided to try MySQL, and it actually worked out fantastic. Yeah, you can see the MySQL database is guacamole underscore db, just like it says up here. Just like it says up here. And you can see the, guac we can, the MySQL user is guacamole user. And you can see the MySQL password, we just said to some password. Be sure to change these as so they can correspond together. This is a key one you should ch you should definitely change and remember is the MySQL root password. We're going to be using the password of example here. Yeah, and to persist the MySQL configuration through when we dis if we decide to upgrade or destroy this container, this MySQL container, your configuration will still be there. Now, my is going to be located in the home Brody config guacamole. Only and the container itself will will preserve the this config, MySQL configuration in this location here. Yeah. Now we can simply control X, save it, yes, voila. And in order to do and now we need to who tell Docker, okay, hey, pull down these containers and start them up. So we go sudo or oh, actually we don't need to. We, we're in root. So we just go Docker dash compose up up dash d now it's going to pull the guacamole images and the database image but that's not but we're not done yet we still need to configure the database and I'll show you once it pulls down all the images and says it's done you can see it's pulling quite a bit of information so be sure you have the data for it I specified and and I have to be honest with you the next part is going to be the part where I where I originally struggled with a lot because I couldn't figure out how to figure out even with the guacamole documentation and it's because I'm not familiar with the stuff most likely is that I couldn't figure out how to set up the database correctly until I just remembered Linode actually has an app image for guacamole and I studied the Linode guac Guacamole documentation, and I had to change a few names here and there in order to get it working with my installation method, but it worked. So, if anyone out there at Linode is listening, thank you so much for your excellent documentation. It's helped me with quite a few projects. All right, we're almost almost done. It's just pulling the MySQL container down. 
and it should give us a done command, a done by all the containers, and we can see the running containers if it is at the very end. In with Docker, a PS. Okay, creating some a MySQL. Done. Okay, so sudo. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm not in. Oh, wait, I didn't undo. There we go. That could have been disastrous. Okay, so we just simply go docker ps. And we can see our running containers right here. Let me just extend that further for you so you can see. It's not all squished up. And we can see this co the main container where the web interface is is exposed on that port. Now, the diff now this is how what it'll look like if you go in there right now. So we simply go http colon forward slash slash and the, and the IP address of this VM is 192.168.8.22 colon 8080 forward slash gu guacamole forward slash and you'll see we'll get an error message right here. You see an error has occurred. This is because we've got this container set up but the database is not yet configured. So this is where the gets really fun. And we're going to we already brought up the containers. Now we're going to set up the database. So we're going to go docker and this is how you, you get the uh, uh, the install database for guacamole. On the host run the following command docker run and dash dash rm guacamole guacamole opt guacamole bin init database dot sh dash dash mysql oh, pointing to there we simply copy this will take a few seconds depending on the speed of your system this is just going to do this and that brick and brack alright now the next command is important this docker am I still recording? okay I'm still recording fantastic okay this docker command docker copy will copy either, either file that was just created we can actually see it ls you can see this the file is right here this will copy this file into the container itself of oh, which is key because while a container is a container it doesn't know really what's ex what's on the host unless you expose it so we're going to copy it in all right now we're going to exec into the container this will actually take us inside the dock this command will take us inside the docker container which we will use then to configure the database itself I'm going to copy this docker exec dash it some mysql so the name of that container is mysql bash this will take us right inside the container you'll see our prompt from change you can see here this is the container id which we're inside now we're in there as root now we're going to go cat guac underscore day, db sql i'll pipe it sql I'll u root root dash p guacamole database we'll copy oh dear it's not pulling me through copy into the password this is the password we set example okay that should set everything up now oh, now if we just now we can and uh, let me just shrink this a little bit more now we can now we just need to refresh this page and voila it's installed the default username name and password is walk admin is the username walk admin is the password log in never save and if and if we just exit out and go into the container ls change directory config 
We do another LS. You can see guacamole is in here. Oh my, did I accidentally change the name inside? No, I didn't. That's odd. <laughs> so we go, change Rippy. Guacamole. And we can see all the MySQL data is right inside here now, which means this will persist even if we destroy the MySQL container. But here we go. You have a fully functional... You have, oh, sorry about that. You have a fully functional guacamole environment. Remember to change the default username and password. I think you go here. I haven't used this in a while. Go to users, guac admin, or where is it under? There we go. Current password. We'll change it to something easy to remember. So like, uh, oh, but you can change it here. New password and confirm the password and you just click update password. You can add users here. And then you can even add, add sessions. And so if you want to and I go yeah you go to connections to add a new connection you go new connection we can choose we can name it anything we can choose VNC SSH Telnet Kubernetes uh, we can and here's the ho and here we have the host name and port so the IP address here and the port here so if you were doing SSH you would put the IP address of your server you want to connect to and you say the port is port 22 for SSH. Yeah, you get, have the username, so you can say say root, or you can say, and here you can say the password that you want to SSH in with. What else can we do in here? Yeah, we can have a we have a bunch of options in here. I have barely begun to explore all the cool stuff we can do in here. Here's something you need to remember though, with RDP, e for example you have all the commands are the same but if you're running this say in your home lab like I w may be doing you need to click ignore or server certificate because most likely your your computer your home computer or whatever Windows virtual machine you may have running in your lab won't have have a, will use a self-signed certificate and, and that'll throw an error with guacamole so if you ignore the self-signed certificate you'll just It'll just go through, through perfectly. Well, that's how you get guacamole installed hold in quite an awesome, simple way. So, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video, and bye-bye.